All right, this is my 2015 228i. Currently, it has gone through quite a few modifications. And today there is uh, something that I want to talk about. It's not really a DIY, but just a walkthrough on something I've seen around. I've tried it and I want to give you my feedback after using it for a while. So basically what I'm trying to mention here, it's more about the modifications of using B58 or B58TU components and then you retrofit it on the N20. Uh, why do people are doing that? Well, it's one of it is I would say quite a cheap way of modifying and maybe improving certain functionality of certain parts. And another way it's also the OEM stuff that I am going to talk about here. They don't perform when you try to reach higher, uh, higher horsepower. All right, I'll start off with a big elephant in the room and that is the high pressure fuel pump. Now, if you are someone who want to run full E85 on N20, I've noticed that a lot of people, they are upgrading the fuel pump. And uh, I haven't seen like a full support of aftermarket uh, high pressure fuel pump that you can run on N20, but there is for N55 and the higher platforms. But on the N20, what people have done, they found a hack that you can use the B58 TU fuel pump. Remember, this is very important because you don't wanna get the B58 only you have to get the B58TU high pressure fuel pump and you can uh, swap it with uh, OEM fuel pump. Now another thing you need to know is that swapping the B58TU fuel pump into a N20 uh, N20 engine is not a direct is, is not a direct swap on or it's not a direct bolt on but it's a very easy modification that you can run as you're about to place your high pressure fuel pump the b 58 tu high pressure fuel pump one thing you first need to uh, do is to give a space for this guy to sit in if you look at the oem the oem does have a little of uh, a space here so that this one can just slide in and sit directly but the b 58 tu does not have that the the easiest way to go about it is to trim a little bit of a piece on this black part which is held by a two screws only remove those two screws and go ahead and trim a little bit of this piece to do that just get your dremel and uh, start trimming that piece it's very easy job to do very easy and uh, once you get that trimmed you don't have to trim a, li uh, a lot of space just a little bit in order to get this one seated and once this one is seated you should be able to uh, now connect the other lines now the next piece which is most critical is getting a line that will go from the low pressure fuel pump into the high pressure fuel pump because the fuel rail line is the OEM one you don't have to replace it it's just sits perfectly you just have to make sure you adjust it so that there is no leak at all but this line here it's up to you how you want to do it either go online i will have the link in the description go online and you can buy the 200 201 so that you don't have to uh, hassle on finding this or if you want to go this route the way i did it i have the link in the descriptions as well it's up to you which one which uh, whichever you choose uh, will also work so what i did is I got some AN fittings and uh, these AN fittings are properly set because especially this one over here when I got this one uh, it was a little bit of uh, work what I mean by that is first it was leaking because I didn't put the rubber seal inside but after putting the rubber seal everything uh, was uh, dry and neat and this one here is just a hundred degree uh, AN feeding line and this is the AN6 feeding line 106 and I got the high pressure fuel line from Napa Auto Parts and I got this fuel line this is rated for high pressure uh, fuel pump and connected it to the hard line which goes into the fuel rail and basically that's how you retrofit their B58 TU into the N20 high pressure fuel pump. All right, but before I move on, there is one thing I want to ask you. 
if you are enjoying this part so far i want you to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe because i noticed a lot of people are not subscribed we're this close to get 40k and man i was hoping by this end year to get 50 but hey 40 will do me well by the end of january so like the video and also don't forget to subscribe now let's get back to the video all right let's talk about these kits here you are seeing this is the b58 coal retrofitted into the n20 engine man i really love this one because it's working just plug and play and when i say plug and play it's basically the kit as i'm selling it will come with everything that you need to get this working on one go and when i mean on one go you're not going to cut anything you're not going to remove anything you're just going to add something for example this line here this cable these cable are made so that they are plug and play you see that this is the oem one so if you always want to go back to oem it's easier you just have to, to snap out this one and then you connect the oem one but this one goes right here connect like that and then it goes into the b58 one and snaps in right away and this call they also come with their mounting adapter now this mounting adapter is custom made i made them i took the measurement and they sit right on top of the the neutral line let me show you this one over here this is the brown line and it goes right on top of it so you just have to remove this screw and then you get the adapter you place the adapter and you should be able to place the b58 call on top of the adapter without this uh, this adapter you won't be able to use this call someone was saying that this one have a problem on fitting to be honest with you with my adapter there is no issue you will use the oem fuel line that connects to your high pressure fuel line and it goes directly right there because this is also the direction that the oem fit and it sits right there and this one goes in without an issue as long as you use my adapter and uh, you will have no issue at all and the good thing is that you don't need to program this so when you are using this one you can use it without tuning your car when you are using this one you also don't need to tune it but but i have to be frank with you because i don't want to give false information i am still doing some research if literally you do need to tune this or change the parameter in the dme because this one has higher voltage output and probably the uh, the DME might read a different number or expecting to get a different output uh, from this guy but other than that this one works without an issue let me go start the car and you will hear it all right so I am in the car I just got into the car oh it looks like set on something all right I am in the car and I'm going to start the car you will see that the car will start without a problem There we go, the car is running, I'll move a little bit further so you can hear, the car is running without an issue. Alright, and here it is, the car is running on B58 TU high pressure fuel pump and it's running on the B58 core which I retrofitted and this kit you can buy it from me i have the link in the description uh whatever you want to order if you only want the call i have the price for it if you want the whole kit including the high pressure fuel pump and the line and everything else i also have a kit for it you just have to reach out to me and uh, we will talk All right, and uh, these are the few modifications I've seen people are doing and I thought I would make a complete video just showing you uh, those things, how they're doing it and uh, how you can achieve it as well. I know that there are a lot of people uh, selling these kits. I am not reinventing the wheel. 
I am just showing you how you can go about getting this and uh, I am offering a an alternative solution that is quicker than asking a lot of questions how does this work how does it uh, does this fit and why not because a lot of people these are showing pictures they're not really telling you how it works how it's performed but most importantly for the N20 adapters to fit the coil this is where people are really having a lot of issues because they don't know how to fit it and they don't know which one to get and also the way I've seen people they are you have to cut the the line for the coil the OEM coil you have to cut those lines I have to hardwire them and then uh, if you ever want to sell this car then you have to buy a new harness and stuff like that but with this one you certainly don't have to cut the OEM one you just have to plug and play and uh, it should work without a problem you can always go back to OEM coil and you should be all set and I am on boot mode 3 with a custom tune on it and uh, that basically it I hope you learned something. If you have questions, comments, or something that I missed, or something you want, leave in the comments and I always attend them. I'll catch you on the next one and peace out.